Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be going for the latest breaking news in the NFL. Before we get started, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. Also, if you're new around here, please comment your thoughts on my analysis and my channel in today's comment section down below. Really appreciate that too. And with that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. And more news coming out of Seattle, and I guess Las Vegas too. The Las Vegas Raiders are going to be trading Gabe Jackson, the guard, to the Seattle Seahawks for a 2021 draft pick. We don't know what round that is going to be in, but I'm going to guess it's probably going to be a fifth or later. Uh, but this is, I mean, this is exactly what I don't understand what the Raiders are doing here. I really don't, because the Raiders' offensive line over the past two seasons has been one of the better ones in the NFL. They had Trent Brown, they had Rodney Hudson, they had Gabe Jackson. They were really good on the offensive line. But now, like, all those guys are gone, and it's cap issue, but it's also not cap issue because they, they do have some sort of cap space. But they want to refresh the offensive line, so that's what the Raiders are doing, sending him to the Seahawks. For the Seahawks, this is a really good move because they get Gabe Jackson on the cheap, but Gabe Jackson, is a, he's a quality guard. I mean, he's not great, uh, but he's a st solid starting guard in the NFL. Um, he can add some oomph as a run blocker, um, and although he's not the greatest pass protector, I still think it's an overall solid move for this uh, Seahawks team. Also, so it shows the Seattle Seahawks and especially Russell Wilson that the Seahawks organization is listening to Russell Wilson's demands. They're listening to, sorry, excuse me, Gabe Jackson's good as a pass blocker, not as great as a run blocker. I got that mixed up. But nonetheless, he played a thousand snaps last year, gave up three penalties, didn't give up a sack. This is the kind of guy that the Seattle Seahawks need because he doesn't, he's, he's a good pass protector. So this is exactly, uh, I think, a good move for Russell Wilson, the Seahawks, because, you know, it's also showing that the Seahawks care about Russell Wilson. It shows that they're listening to Russell Wilson and him saying that he he's done with being sacked. He's done with, you know, he's done with a bad O-line. And, you know, bringing in a guy like Gabe Jackson, who's a good pass protector, is exactly what Russell Wilson needs to, you know, have a little bit more time in the pocket. And then him and, you know, Dwayne Brown at left tackle, you're starting to build a better offensive line. So this is the kind of move I've been asking the Seattle Seahawks to do for a while now. They needed to go after an offensive lineman. They needed needed to go after a guy who could really protect uh, Russell Wilson, and finally they do that, going out and getting Gabe Jackson. I love this move from the Seattle Seahawks, being opportunistic, seeing an opportunity, going out and getting a quality off to Lyman, as I'm just trying to see what the trade is exactly uh, that hasn't come out yet. But nonetheless, love this move from the Seattle Seahawks, but I just don't understand it if you're a Raiders fan. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.